Tonight on Military Matters, a museum tucked away on the top floor of Lowellville's American Legion. 7 News reporter Chad Charette takes us inside for a closer look at pieces of local military history. That is really cool. Archived articles, an assortment of uniforms, and vintage weapons. The armor would actually weld it together, so there are no two of these alike. A comprehensive military museum found upstairs at the Lowellville American Legion. I think I'm getting more out of it than I'm putting into it. Uh, I do the best I can. Meet Blair Sandry. As museum curator, he sorts and catalogs artifacts from as early as the mid-1800s. Some of them local. You can attach uh, some of these uh, materials directly to people that lived right here, walked these streets. One artifact, this mess kit, a cooking device bearing the initials of Edgar Normander, a soldier from Lewis County. This guy's right from around here and carried this thing in World War I. More artifacts, this Japanese pistol was seized on the Pacific front during World War II. And this pictured plane bears a familiar name, the spirit of Lewis County. Generally, that would indicate that the pilot and perhaps the entire crew um, actually came from Lewis County. Pictured here, a mortar. In person, it's a lot bigger than it looks on a page. This mortar is the same model as the one you saw pictured on the wall. It's the latest addition to the museum, and in just a few weeks, it'll be displayed outside. It's exciting. Anything new that we can add to the history of the military, not just in Lewis County, but in the nation overall, that's exciting. Although their collection is vast, Hinkleman tells us the Legion could always use more artifacts. We are looking for World War I uniforms. Uh, we are looking for some ladies' uniforms as well, which are two things that would just add another dimension to our museum that doesn't currently exist. The museum is open to the public. Go to our website to learn more. Chad Charette, 7 News.